Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can convert any IGF file or any step file into editable or parametric model using Creo. Sometimes what happens, uh, you will be asked to, in interviews or while you are working to convert uh, any IGS model into an editable model. In that time, you have to do thing. Uh, you have to do one thing, is just open that IGS model, and recreate that model with the editable features. Because IGS file don't have the model tree or any feature. Uh, you you won't see any feature in that, so you cannot edit IGS files. But uh, to uh, edit those features, uh, you have to recreate it. So. I will show you how to do it. So let's get started. First of all, you have to go to a new part. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a sheet metal part. So I'm taking a sheet metal domain from here, subtype, and say OK. Now go to get data here, then say import. And I have already gone to my working directory and there is a file called as abc this is igs format so i will open it say okay and that file is now open click okay and it's open now now i have to uh, do one thing i have to create its editable feature right now you can see in the model tree that it's just an import feature you won't see any of the features by which features it has been created like flange tab nothing is there just a import feature tab so i have to make its editable features so how to do that we, i'll tell you step by step uh, everything uh, before we start i have to uh, share some of the points which you should not do while creating uh, or while doing remastering what happens sometimes people uh, do is they directly go to planar and directly select this surface of the import feature but uh, because of selecting that uh, import feature surface your editable uh, model will create a connection between this import feature and your uh, editable model so at the last when you will delete that input feature your whole model will also be get deleted so to avoid that you have to make sure that uh, there is no connection of your uh, editable model with this input feature so uh, let's get started first of all i will check whether uh, these three planes are at the exact distance uh, zero zero distance why I'm saying that because I have to uh, create my sketch on this surface but it should not be on this surface but it, it, it my sketch would be on any any of the planes which is at a distance of zero mm or zero inch from this surface so that I, I can easily take the reference of these edges but there will be no connection uh, between this IGS model and my editable feature. So what I will go, I'll check this top. I'll select this top uh, plane and select this surface. So, sorry, I took a uh, wrong surface, I think. So I need to select this uh, lower plane here. I don't know which plane is that. Front, yes, this is, you can see front plane select that and select lower plane you would see that this uh, distance is zero zero inch so no problem in creating uh, your sketch on this front plane why uh, there is no problem in creating a sketch on front plane is because even if you delete this feature uh, your uh, planes won't get deleted see the pl plane will remain the same so you don't need to worry about that now first step would be to create a planar on the front plane just select that plane and 
and now go to back side of it and I'll take references from here there's a tab here go take the age references and close it and now you have to create a rectangle here on that reference you had took okay uh, but before saying okay here you have to delete those references you can see here age delete those age uh, which are import feature ages after doing that select these planes press solve button close it you can see the reference is now been taken from the uh, reference plane stop front and right plane so now say okay now I don't know the thickness uh, of this sheet metal so right now I'll say okay for that I'll hide this one I'll check the thickness of this it's 0.118 so I'll copy this then I'll go here in my editable model edit definition paste the thickness here say okay if you select uh, the feature you'd see that uh, it's flashing why because when two surfaces come uh, back to back and they are exactly similar it will flash like this so from that you can understand that uh, your model parameter model is exactly matching now before moving uh, next uh, I have to check the radius of this band of IGS model so that the same um, uh, radius I would keep to my um, parametric model the radius is uh, the diameter is 0 0.236220 so I'll copy it so that I can directly paste in the uh, right now I'll suppress it and this is my editable feature I'll take flange from here I'll select edge now I have to give the radius the radius is here just paste this is the diameter I will divide it by 2 and now it's done say ok now again go to uh, something I did wrong I think suppress okay now what I'll do I'll add the flange here okay I'll paste it divide by 2 because that was diameter now it's radius is okay now if you uh, insert down then you'll see that import feature is little bit outside so what I will do I will drag that flange or edit definition oh, sorry you have to put this import feature on the top so that you can see while editing your editable feature in the definition say offset with age at two part age you can see that it's matching exactly now just reduce its height you can see that yeah, this height you can adjust uh, uh, after checking the height from analysis right now I'm just showing you how it's matching you can see here it's the surface is flashing you see all surface is flashing now so this means that uh, the 
two IGS model and editable model are exactly similar, but there is no connection in between these two of these. So how to know that? If I delete it, the model, the editable model should not get deleted. But if it, if you delete it, there should not be any effect on your editable uh, model tree. So that it will, it means uh, there will, there is no connection in between uh, IGS model and editable model. So I'll delete it, saying okay, nothing happens to my editable feature. Now I can easily edit. I can do anything. I can change parameters, anything. And that IGS model which I was I had called, I took just reference of it and it's done now. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe our channel. And please uh, let me know in the comments uh, what uh, videos uh, you want to see in future regarding uh, Creo or regarding uh, UGNX. Thank you very much for watching.